I wanted to upload another one of these videos. However, I didn't want to do it until I had about the same number of levels as the other one, uh, the other video. So, what I did was showed my solutions up to 215, it looks like. Hadn't done this one yet. Two uh, 216. So I wanted to get to at least like 415, you know, before the next one, but it was taking a while. Like, <laughs> once I started getting around here somewhere, it started taking a bit of time for each one. So I figured I'd show the process for this one and uh, see how it goes since I haven't done it yet. So this is Thread the Needle 4.8 and we'll see just how long this takes me. So it looks like we have a dune buggy here. It's pretty fast. Got a bit of acceleration horsepower, but whenever it rolls downhill, it will idle. So to show what the level looks like... Pretty standard. So we have to get it into here. And if we look, there is a platform over there. So we have to somehow get it over this mountain and squeeze it underneath with our limited a number a number amount of roads. I think yeah, it's the same whether or not you use a reinforced road or a regular road. So first, um. Since we don't have many roads, for instance, if we turn this grid on and put our roads all the way to this point, so that's already four. So that's the most roads that we can do. I can't put another one because I don't have any more. So we'll have to get by with what we have. And I wonder if I can't put a good uh, single road, like a little ramp up here or something. So what I'm doing here, that we have for our building resources, because this is a road, something that the car can drive on top of. And... Uh, each thing costs its own amount of money per meter. Now, the things on the other side of this little line are your building resources. So, right now what we have access to in this level is wood, steel, rope, cable, and springs. And they each cost a different amount per meter of usage. And a meter, if we're, oops, if we're looking at this point here, a meter is this far. Not very far. So this is 180, 450 for steel, that's wood. 220 for rope. Four, four, or 400 for a cable and 330 for a spring. So what I was doing with the steel, just draw a little triangle for this, for this road, because if I don't put anything here whenever I start the level, that road just sort of falls down this is on a slow speed, so you can't really see what it looks like, but for a regular speed, this road is going to just fall and hit the side of this wall right here. Boop. And then does nothing. So what we'll do... 
put a piece of steel here and here and uh, this kind of supports itself it's rigid now because if there's just one both pieces would just fall to the side but if you have two boop it kind of stays the same so what we'll do we'll use what's called a wall brace by bringing the steel over and hugging the wall with it that way whenever the car goes to drive on the road it'll push down on the road because of the ramp and like whenever it goes up it exerts like sort of an opposite force onto this road and whenever it does that that force is transferred into the steel which pushes down against this wall which I don't have to worry about the stress of because it's just a big wall and so while this gets compressed and it gets pushed down into this which I might have to bring it up I, I'm, I'm not really sure yet uh, it, this road is going to be supported by this piece of steel here now that's pretty expensive for our budget and uh, this piece here, what it's going to do is it's going to prevent this piece, this little yellow circle, from going down. Uh, and so because of that, this piece of steel that was here, it's going to be under tension. So that means this piece is going to be trying as hard as it can to pull away from this piece here. So instead of steel we're going to use a cheaper material that's specialized in tension which is rope and see how it does for us and so this is going to be supported here it doesn't break but the car doesn't quite get to where we want so real quick let's adjust it and I'll slow down the speed so you can see what's going on so the car is idle downhill, but once it gets flat, it's going to start accelerating and then ramp off of here. Boom. Now that's not a very good jump for us. Oh, well, I don't know actually. Let's see how it turns out. Maybe it is a good jump for us. That looks like it could work. Okay. So before we continue, let's look with our stress visibility on. And we can see the stress of all these parts here. And uh, the reason why we design things in a certain way. So it goes on, stresses out the wood, pushes down, and stresses us out. While we're here, let's just make this as small as possible. could easily hold it which lets me think that I might be able to use wood ah it's too much for the wood so we'll bring it down a little bit give more wood material to work with and instead of it being pushed down from this point like this way it's going to be pushed further down which spreads the force a little more smoothly along this line here boom and it barely survived that jump look at that that is almost perfect so very good currently it does slow down up here and then it all sort of fall down so I'm thinking if we can get it to ride this mountain, maybe we can squeeze our way in there. So real quick, I'll build something out here. That way I can do this. Okay. So I have some road. I'll make a little triangle here. 
Now we'll see if this actually works the way that we want it to. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. Kind of. Maybe we can get it to ramp? So now that we have this here, it does go down. But the thing is, it's just going to fall into the water about... Yeah, just straight down. Now, we both don't and probably can't build a ramp from over here. I mean, we just take our roads out. That's all of them. So, I mean, I could catch it here potentially with these springs. These things compress and they're like stretchy and stuff. And if it lands on here, it could like come down and then back up. But that's expensive. So, I wonder if we can't take some more road. And instead of having it travel down this, we could brace the road against the rock. And then, oh, wait, it only goes up over to here. So, and then like somehow ramp it that way. Maybe we could go down and then up. <laughs> it's interesting. I'll see how much merit this has. For now, since we just want to see if this idea works at all, I'm gonna just put some supports here that are made of steel and see if that'll work. So let's see what happens. It goes up, comes down. Does it ramp across? Oh, almost there. We're just doing this right now to hopefully make it work. So let's see what happens. Oh, and oh, I didn't get to see it. So it wasn't high enough. Let's raise our jump a bit and keep it smooth if we can. just about made it however we did have some breaks didn't do very well on this level so far but that's okay I'm just trying to get the idea so this side is very good only 899 but this side it is almost 18 and a half thousand So, we've got to figure out a way to get this cheaper first. We got it to work, and that's great. Now, maybe we can somehow ramp it out this way. Let's see if this has any merit, at least in this shape. Ooh, and it does. So what if I put it even higher? So I noticed it did slide a little. Oh, looks like we're getting somewhere. What we'll first do... Let's figure out where this thing goes. 
around there, the midpoint between these two points. It's probably around here or so. Did it come down? So I'm going to do this to try to judge around where it's at. Okay, let's see how this does. Ooh, look at that. Oh, we got it. All right, so now... We need a way to make this solution even cheaper. So I'll take a quick look at it. Very simple. Top 12%. So now we'll try it again. just found something if we made this a better ramp because it loses a ton of speed right here so if we just continue that a little smooth curve maybe get a better amount of speed going forward Oop. That's why we don't do that. Okay, that did work. Top six percent. What? Solution has breaks. Try again. No breaks. None. Boom. Yep. It's all good. I don't have any breaks. Yeah. Top 10% for unbreaking bridges. So, let's see where our stresses are at. See if it works if I shorten the road a little bit. Oh yeah. What about a bit more? Okay. Oh, it's looking better by the second. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my.
That is so close. It might just make it with this one road. Oh! <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. Alright, now let's see what the stress looks like. I think we can make it even better somehow. Ramps up, drives over, falls down gracefully, comes off, and makes it just over. Top 3% in the world of that many people. So not bad. So hope you can kind of understand why it takes a bit to do the rest of them now. I don't do nearly this good on a lot of them, but uh, I still, like, it's still a similar amount of time, so. <laughs> and that's on unbreaking. Breaking, still top 3%, but little further up, because it's easier to do it with breaks, but. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah. See you next time.